In this episode, you will learn about auto tuning features and how to troubleshoot one of the common issues related to auto tuning in Cloud Dataflow. Auto tuning isn't just a way to make you sound like a better singer when recording music. It's also a feature in Cloud Dataflow to help execute your job as quickly and efficiently as possible, including horizontal auto scaling, vertical auto scaling, and dynamic work rebalancing. Let's start by looking at each of these features in more detail. Horizontal auto scaling is a feature that automatically chooses the appropriate number of work instances required to run your job and dynamically adds or removes workers as appropriate. Vertical auto scaling dynamically scales up or down the memory available to workers to fit the requirements of the job. This feature makes the jobs resilient to out of memory errors and to maximize pipeline efficiency. Finally, Dynamic work rebalancing dynamically assigns work to unused or underused workers to decrease your job's overall processing time. This is accomplished by automatically detecting certain conditions including imbalances in work assignments or workers finishing faster or slower than expected. It's helpful to note that while vertical auto scaling is suitable for streaming jobs, dynamic work rebalancing is well matched to batch jobs where right fitting happens for the workload. While these auto tuning features help to dynamically optimize your data flow job, there are times when they may fail or not work as expected. Today, I will show you how to troubleshoot and resolve one of the common issues with auto tuning in Cloud Dataflow. Dataflow workers for streaming jobs aren't scaling down enough, though the average CPU utilization stays below 75%. To investigate this issue, first validate if the following criteria has been met for scaling down. Is the CPU utilization of all the workers less than 75% for 2 or more minutes? And is the streaming pipeline backlog lower than 10 seconds which is the default criteria? Next, check if you are using the streaming engine. If the job is not using the streaming engine, then be aware that Dataflow requires each worker to have the same number of persistent disks with a maximum of 15 disks per worker, and this could be affecting its ability to autoscale. For example, if there are 60 disks and 60 workers, then each worker will have one disk. Let's say the job scales down to 30 workers, each worker will now have two disks. However, the maximum number of disks a worker can have is 15. This means Data flow cannot scale down below 4 workers because this is the point at which each of the workers would be owning 15 disks. Thus, if you are observing the streaming job is not scaling down, then it is because each worker has reached the maximum number of disks they can hold. Hence, data flow workers cannot scale down any further even if the CPU utilization is low. To address this issue, use the streaming engine. Dataflow streaming engine moves pipeline execution out of the worker VMs and into the Dataflow service backend. Hence, you will see the following benefits with streaming engine. Reduction in consumed CPU, memory, and persistent disk storage resources on the worker VMs. More responsive horizontal auto scaling in response to variations in incoming data volume. Streaming engine offers smoother, more granular scaling of workers. For more information about Streaming Engine, check out this documentation. Hope you found this video useful to learn about auto-tuning features and troubleshoot a common issue observed with auto-tuning. Do not miss the next episode where we will share more tips on troubleshooting another common auto-tuning issue. Stay tuned. For more information about auto-tuning features in Dataflow, check out the following documentation.